In this video, I will be showing you how to use a piece of plexiglass to help facilitate a perspective drawing of a hallway. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to place this piece of plexiglass in front of me, and it's on a little stool, making sure it is on the same angle that I'm looking at it at the hallway scene. And once I've got the plexiglass in place, I can see what it is that I'm drawing. And basically, I can take my wiping marker, my white erase marker, and draw the scene as I see it. So I'll just hold this in place. Um, a couple of things to remember. Your eye needs to stay at the same distance um, from the plexiglass if you, let's see, let's go ahead and draw a little bit in here. I'm going to start right here at the top of this. Make a mark and go straight down. It's going to be a little shaky. I don't have a ruler. And then from here over. And going up from there, and drawing down, up, and up here. Just making sure I'm getting the contour lines, of the water fountain, and then the front part. So that line goes down. This line meets right there. So that works as long as I am sitting in the same spot with the plexiglass, the same distance from my eye, and I'm not moving my head from one side or the other. So what happens is if you move back and forth from the plexiglass, that changes. So I'm moving my eye back away from it. Um, and the scene changes, or the sizes, the proportions change depending on the position of my eye from the object itself. So I'm getting closer, and so the object is getting bigger now. Um, the further away I move, the smaller this image is going to get from the actual um, fountain itself. So I'm going to move that right back to where it was before, um, adjusting my positioning so that it matches right back up there. Um, so wherever you're drawing, you need to make sure that your eye is aligned with the plexiglass. It's in the same spot and it's not moving all around. Um, and then you're just going to go ahead and finish the important um, contour lines of your drawing. So now I've got this mostly sketched out, and as you can see, I've moved it a little bit, um, but it's relatively the scene that I need to get. Um, to lay down on my drawing. So I'm um, not doing major details or anything like the grates on the um, water fountain. I just kind of indicated where the top and the bottom are and just getting the angles of the flooring and the ceiling and where other objects are. And at this point, I'm going to take this back to the classroom and show you how to get it onto paper. So I'm now back in the classroom and I've got my plexiglass drawing tracing of the scene that I'm trying to draw and I've got a sheet of paper and a pencil and I'm at the light table which I'm going to go ahead and turn on and I'm going to lay this down on the surface and then put that sheet of paper over the top um, and from here I'm just going to transfer the image 
onto my piece of paper. And that's how you transfer from the plexiglass tool so that you can get your major angles and proportions accurate. And once the drawing's all done on your paper, you can go back into the hallway and do the shading and details. And make sure you get those textures in also. So I've now traced the majority of the image and I will show you what it looks like once I turn off the table. So here's my drawing so far. I need to finish off a few things and uh, I can remove the plexiglass and wipe that off and make sure that's clean. Um, but it looks approximately right and I'm going to take it back into the hallway and finish off the detail work, um, the dimensionality of things that I didn't get dimensions of um, while I was just kind of uh, getting the placement and proportions of everything. So um, that's how you would use a plexiglass.